This June 28th will mark 50 years since the uprising at Stonewall, when trans women of color, homeless queer teens, lesbians, drag queens, gay men, and allies all decided to take a stand. It is my honor and pleasure to present the 2019 Stonewall National Museum Icon Award to Miss Major Griffin Gracie. When I had first heard about this, I thought, oh God, here it is. They're going to use and manipulate my ass again, and I'm not going to have it. <laughs> so I guess the only thing I could say is that it'd be nice if you all helped me get these younger people and younger gay and lesbian and transgender kids to understand that T started this. And, and just to end, I'll just say, and I'm still fucking here. Thank you. Miss Major Griffin Gracie was born on October 25, 1940, in the south side of Chicago. Miss Major is a trans woman activist and community leader for transgender rights, with a particular focus on women of color. She served as the original executive director for the Transgender Gender Variant Intersex Justice Project which aims to assist transgender persons who are disproportionately incarcerated under the prison industrial complex. Ms. Major Griffin Gracie has spent more than 40 years advocating for marginalized communities. Ms. Major began her activism in the 1950s and 60s when police raids of queer bars were rampant. She, alongside with other activists like Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, emerged from the 1969 Stonewall Riots with a commitment to support her sisters and other trans families. Miss Major participated in drag balls during her youth and described her experience in Chicago in a 1998 interview. The drag balls were phenomenal. It was like going to the Oscars show today. Everybody dressed up. Guys in tuxedos queens in gowns that you would not believe. I mean, things they would have been working on all year. And the straight people would come and watch. They were different from the ones who come today. They just appreciated what was going on. As a teenager, Miss Major was met with a lot of criticism and abuse from her peers. During her period of transitioning, Miss Major relied on the black market for hormones. For over 20 years, she suffered from homelessness, and participated in sex work. After having been kicked out of two colleges for the outward expression of her identity, Miss Major moved from Chicago to New York City. While some organizations, including gay bars in the city, would deny entry to trans women, she established herself within an LGBTQ community associated with the Stonewall Inn, a bar in Greenwich Village. She recounted, Quote, we could go to Stonewall and everything would be fine. We didn't have to explain ourselves. End quote. On June 27, 1969, Miss Major was in the Stonewall Inn meeting with a girlfriend when the bar was raided, an action that initiated the Stonewall riots. Miss Major was a leader in the riots, but was struck on the head by a police officer and was taken into custody. While in prison, she reported that a corrections officer broke her jaw. In 1973, she went to a gay rally in Central Park with fellow activist and trans woman Sylvia Rivera, where the audience booed Rivera offstage. I have been beaten. I have been thrown in jail. I have lost my job. I have lost my apartment for gay liberation. And you all treat me this way? What the fuck? There were so many ways that this could have been done or handled that was complimentary and inclusive of everybody. Where's the respect from our community who was a part of all this and a major part of all of this? Miss Major moved to California in the late 70s, eventually settling in San Francisco just as the AIDS epidemic hit. 
She quickly dedicated herself to the cause, hiring other trans women to help care for the sick and started the Tenderloin AIDS Resource Center. In 2003, she joined the Transgender Gender Variant Intersex Justice Project before becoming its executive director. This major has frequently criticized the LGBTQ movement based on its exclusion of transgender persons from the participation and positions of leadership, particularly trans people of color, those with low income, and those who have been previously imprisoned. Miss Major is a self-proclaimed feminist. Her view of feminism is a woman's ability to be both strong and sensitive and to do so proudly. Miss Major wishes for the simplest human rights for trans youth, saying, quote, I'd like for the girls to get a chance to be who they are, for young transgender people to go to school, learn like everyone else does, and then get out of there and live their lives, not afraid or thinking that the only solution for them is death. End quote. Miss Major strives to bring attention to the intersectionality of poverty, race, and gender in situations related to incarceration, employment, and mental and physical health. She draws inspiration for her activism from Elizabeth Taylor and Angela Davis. A documentary titled Major was released in 2015 and portrays Miss Major's role as an activist and mentor in the transgender community since the 1960s. She describes the film as not only a tool to present to young trans women about their history, but also as a reminder to herself that young women still need her help. Thank you for watching and learning more about Miss Major Griffin Gracie. Subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. As always, we will continue to highlight the voices and stories of the TLGBQ plus communities of color on this page.